Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ben. Today, we're going to be taking another look at this 25-foot Crestliner behind me. If you missed the first part, don't worry, I'm going to catch you up real quick. First of all, it's a Crestliner, obviously, from 1988. It has a Chevy 305 motor in it with the OMC King Cobra Drive in the back. Now, there's a couple things I want to do to this boat today. First of all, I want to check the gear loop. Second of all, I'm going to try to clean the carburetor. Thirdly, we're going to pick up a battery, see if we can test the systems, and maybe get this thing started. Let's get going. Now, before we do anything, I actually have to run to the store to pick up some items. So let's hop in the Mustang, get it fired up, head to the store. Alrighty guys, we are back from the store. Take a look at what we got here. Got some paper towels, gear lube, carb cleaner, and I even picked up a brand new battery to see if we can get this thing going today. So I'm back up at the boat. The first thing I'm gonna do is hook up that brand new battery, see if we can get some systems tested. nasty all right well while Lake Crestliner is draining I went ahead and found where the battery compartment is that is right under here so I gotta lift up this bit of vinyl open up that hatch and we should be good to go gonna need some sandpaper for this. Have a look. That is extra gross. Yeah, we can make that work. Alright, so I got the battery hooked up. I only shorted it once, thank God. Anyways, let's get this thing fired up. Well, not fired up quite yet. Let's head up to the helm, test some systems. Alright, let's see if my gauges turn on. Battery switch. Let me find a battery switch. Ah, there it is. Alright, take two. Let's see if these gauges come on. Hey, look at that. Alright, so we got fuel, our tack zeroed, oil pressure moves, water temp doesn't move, we're getting a voltage reading, got trim, let's uh, turn on the blower, blower kicked on, bilge pump, bilge pump kicked on, windshield wiper, hey, look at that, windshield wiper works. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, horn. Horn does not work at all. Okay, let's uh, let's see if the trim works. I figure this is a pretty decent habit to get into. I mean, after all, this thing's been sitting for who knows how long. Use a little lubrication, you know. Look at that. 
Those bellows are pretty new, really. Not bad. All right, let's trim it up. Good enough for me. All right, so before I go any further, I actually want to change the gear fluid in this thing. Luckily, I brought a drain pan, and I bought that fluid from earlier sitting right here. So let's go ahead and get that started. Seen worse. Also seen better. Doesn't smell awful. Doesn't look terrible. Let me get the dipstick out the top. Alright, so while that gear case is draining out, I'm going to hop up inside the boat, pull the spark plugs, and get some lubricant down inside those cylinders. It's been a little while since this thing's turned over, so I want to make sure it has some lubrication so nothing gets scratched or scored. I'm also going to run a compression test while I have those spark plugs out, just to check the general condition of the engine. It's a little crusty. All of them had, I don't know if you can see, come on, focus here, yeah, hold up. I don't know if you can see, but the very tip of that spark plug there has like some growth on it, and I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, I'll clean them up, put some lubrication in there, and see what happens. One side, let's go to the other. Ugh. I need to get new plugs for this thing. There we go. Let that soak for a minute. Alright, that's been draining for a little while. Let's go get some fresh gear lube and pump it in there. Alright, I'm on my third bottle of gear lube now. I had no idea this thing was going to take that much. I guess it's okay though, I haven't seen it come out the fill plug at the top, so uh, we just keep going until it comes out of there. Well, I guess we're full. I'd say that's full, huh? Ugh, I got a mess to clean up. Oh, God.
Every time I work with gear lube, I get it everywhere. Now I knew why I bought those paper towels, huh? Look at all that on the drain plug. Not great, but you know, at least the fluid wasn't milky or anything, so we know all the seals in here are good. Because milk means there's water in your gear fluid, and that is very bad news. Very, very bad news where I come from. Alright, so after thinking about it for a while, I just figured I'm going to go ahead and buy some new spark plugs. I mean, they're not that expensive, they're like four bucks a pop, and I'll have peace of mind knowing that these nasty things aren't sitting in the engine. Anyways, I'll call my local parts store, I'm going to be there in just a minute, I'll check in with you guys then. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the difference between the new ones and the old ones. So on the left there, you've got the old one, that's real crusty. Come on. That's better. Left is real crusty. Right is brand new. I have a feeling it was a good idea getting new spark plugs because this is going to make one heck of a difference. But before I can even put those spark plugs in, I'm going to do a compression test of this engine real quick. Let's get to it. about 72 psi seen better mm. I heard like 30 pounds yikes yeah not good take three see how we end up Yeah, it's 120 pounds there. All right, last one, let's see how it fares. A little better at 130 pounds. All right, let's try the other side, shall we? Like 60 pounds, not great. Ugh. 30 pounds again. Right at 120. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, that compression test was a little bit upsetting to say the least. I've only got two cylinder, well four I guess that have good compression. The other two are just 60s and 30s. It's it's not great. Needless to say, it's not great. Uh, that could be a myriad of issues. It could just be stuck rings from sitting for so long. It could be like the block actually has problems. There could be a lot of things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the carb, put the plugs in, see if I can get it to fire. If I can get it to run, let it heat up, and run it real good for a while, perhaps those rings will unstick. After that, I'll run another compression test just to see where we're at. But first things first, I'm getting ahead of myself. i got to see if I can even get this thing fired up. So. I guess we'll work on that. Well, it certainly smells like fuel down inside there. I don't know if my choke works or not. Well, we got fuel. There's fuel in there, alright. Smells okay. Tell you what. Let's just try to fire it up, huh? Let's see what happens. Alright. Yeah, it 
have oil. Yes. We do. Well, let's get the water hooked up and give her a shot. Oh my god! Oh, it fire! Oh my god! Holy crap, it's fire! No way! <laughs> no way! Um, oh! We're pumping water, look! Alright! Okay! I can deal with that, okay! I'm pretty easy! We'll let her get up to operating temps and uh, see how we're doing. Oh, I gotta check oil pressure and whatnot. Let's go have a look. Alright, so. Engine's not come up to temps yet. Ooh, power steering. I can feel that. Got good oil pressure. A trim gauge apparently doesn't work. Voltage is reading good. Our alternator's working. Fuel. Oh, look, our RPM uh, tachometer works too. Wow, okay. Let's try a shift. Let's see forward. See if the prop is spinning. Yeah. That belt is loose. I gotta fix the power steering belt. Well, she sure does steam a lot. I mean, it's not awful, not great. Sounds all right though, all things considered. All right, first of all, that's really good news. You can hear it in the background idling. I'm gonna let it idle for a few minutes just to warm up. Then I'll shut it down, turn it back on, just see how we're doing. I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna let it run for a little while longer, warm up, see how everything's doing. I, I really think this is a, I don't know, I'll do a compression test when it cools. Oh, we're not peeing, uh oh. There we go. 
That's better. Anyway, I'll do a compression test in a few minutes once the motor cools back down. So I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but there's a lot of crankcase ventilation out of both hoses. See? Look at that. So, that means there's a lot of blow-by on a couple of the cylinders, so I'm going to let it run for a little while longer, see what happens. Okay, that's a pretty good motor right there. I'm impressed. That start is top. Uh, the guy said he had electronic ignition. I believe him now. Holy cow, that started well. I gotta admit, I didn't have high hopes for this. Let me shut it off. I didn't have high hopes for this a few minutes ago. However, I'm really impressed with how that turned out. Anyways, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to part two of this refurbishment. Like if you liked, subscribe if you loved it, like it for part three, maybe we can make that happen. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.